Rahman. Uh, now we are going to cover chapter three uh, of the book that is about geo relational vector data model. Our timeline for today's lab will be what is geo relational vector data model, how to import the file and uh, change the format of the file, and what is meant by the coverage file and how to convert a coverage to a geo database feature class. Mm -hmm. We will understand that what is feature class. And then we will see that what is geo database uh, feature class to shape file conversion, and then we will be finally concluding our lab. Uh, okay, the first thing uh, let's uh, skim this geo relational vector data model, and then we will uh, uh, perform the lab practically and relate with this chapter. Geo relational vector data model and object based vector da uh, based data model. We have these two types. One uses a split system, the other uses a uh, combined system. We have the idea that uh, geo relational vector data model it uses a split system to store your attribute data and the spatial data, right? And uh, in this geo relational vector data model, uh, we discussed in the last lab that we have point, line, and polygon features, right? Then we uh, discussed a bit about topology that uh, using topological operation you can uh, perform various accuracies and check whether the two nodes they are uh, matching each other whether this uh, node or this point is touching this line or not. So these type of topological things uh, that can be performed in ArcMap or ArcCatalog. Uh, then uh, in this book that is Tiger that is uh, topologically integrated geographic encoding and referencing this is a data format that is used by US Census Bureau right uh, now what is our main focus of today's lab is to discuss what is meant by coverage and what is meant by a feature class and uh, what is a shape file how to convert and exchange the data between these formats right so uh, we have a basic that is coverage data model and uh, that is uh, used by ISRI and it, this model was uh, in 1980 it started and uh, in GIS softwares we will see that how this coverage files look like it is basically a topology based vector data format right uh, important thing that it, it is vector data and second thing it has the topological basis that you can uh, check the connectivity, you can define some area, you can check the contiguity that is direction and left and right neighboring polygons etc. Now in coverage uh, what we have, we have arc right, uh, we have point form, line form or polygon form. We have an exercise in which we are going to see that how arc uh, point, how arc line and how arc polygon looks like. And then we will be finally uh, transform this uh, coverage data to some other format. And uh, beside the topological data, we may have non topological data. And uh, that example of non topological data is shape file, uh, which we have uh, used in the last lab when we transformed the projection from one to another of a specific shape file. In this lab, we will discuss in detail what a shape file is again. So we must keep in mind that shapefile is non-topological vector data. Then we have TIN. Uh, in this lab, we will uh, display a TIN. It is basically triangulated irregular network. You have some points of the ground and uh, you connect those points through a line, right? And form a triangle. It is basically 3D visualization, right? So uh, we will add this TIN and region. It is uh, simply defined as an area with similar geographic characteristics. For example, if this is an area which shows the country boundaries of any state of US, so that is uh, defined or termed as region. Then we have routes. Route is simply if you have some road or a highway, you just uh, draw a line. So that will be defined as your route. A linear feature such as highway, bike path, streams, right? This is route. Route has a measurement system that allows linear measurements to be used. That is what is the distance from point A to point B along this highway, right? It can have different sections, right? And it can have uh, different events which we can add in the uh, attribute table. 
now now let's uh, focus on our practical section that is important we will have the exercise one uh, that is examining the data file structure of a coverage and a shape file then we will be uh, viewing regions and routes viewing the 10 uh, basic task right so i have opened this file over here and the first thing uh, the first exercise is there is a file named as land.e00 which is an arc info interchange file a format we need to convert this format right and uh, into a coverage file right so uh, what we will be going to do is to start our software like we have done in the last lab in our catalog make connection to the folder connect to folder which we have done in the last lab now once you are connected to your folder you will have a database over here all the data will be shown now what it asks you to do is that if you follow this tutorial uh, what you have to do is to convert a file that is in e00 format right so we know that in arc toolbox in conversion tool section there is a, a section called as two coverage right toolbox two coverage and in two uh, two coverage there is import from e00 if you just click on this and browse to your folder wherever your data has been placed here i have the format land dot e00 right so i will uh, give some output name for example land output file right and just click ok now here you can see that the process is being executed and the import is completed now once your import is completed just you have to uh, refresh this right and here you can see that land output file will be displayed here it is land output right coverage file now if you can see that here you have arc here you have label here you have polygon here you have tick now let's go back to this section what we studied in theory about the coverage data structure that it can be of point line and polygon right so here you can see practically that it is line label polygon or a points right so we can uh, preview them as well for example i have selected this arc you can preview the labels you can preview the polygons or you can preview the text so these are different data formats which we have seen in uh, chang book now this was our first task that we need to convert our file from one to another the next thing is we can explore the properties of each of these structures just go to the properties section and you can see that there will be uh, some columns left polygon right polygon to node from node so these are all uh, we studied in the theory that this coverage is topological data so it ha it will have a starting node ending node left polygon right polygon so uh, this is basic about the uh, coverage structure right so you can explore one by one the properties of all the uh, structures okay uh, once you have selected the properties and view all the sec uh, columns item names displayed over here you can see the type of them width output and everything that is displayed over here and the next thing that is important that you can transform this coverage to a shape file for example you can use this option of export to shape file single specify your input feature your output location and just uh, what you have to do is to spin, uh, name it uh, the folder wherever you want to save it just browse to that folder and click add and here you can name the output of coverage and just click ok now this is a method to convert from coverage to the shape file right okay the next thing once you have this converted feature class to feature class conversion you can just refresh it and once you refresh it you can see that output of coverage is displayed over here we just converted single 
what if you want to convert all of these file of land output together so uh, there is a tool which is conversion to shape file feature class to shape file multiple right here you can uh, assign all the uh, four and just name the output folder right so all of these four will now be converted to a shape file if you click on ok the file will be converted you can see the process is being executed here now this is called as feature class to shape file multiple the earlier one was feature class to feature class single okay next if you just uh, refresh it and in this refresh section uh, you can see somewhere over uh, here here i have land arc.shp land polygon.shp you can similarly view them and uh, analyze them so this is a method to convert from a coverage to a shape file uh, all together you can specify by using feature class to feature class multiple or, or you can specify one by one by feature class to feature class single okay our next task is to uh, task 2 that is view region and roots right so uh, what we have to do is uh, first let's see what regions were in theory we defined regions as any area uh, geographic area with similar characteristic right so let's view some regions and uh, here in nhd coverage we have region right so uh, let's open the arc map now click on add data connect to your folder if you have not already done browse to chapter 3 in nhd section you will have a region files over here right so you can just add all these three and they will be displayed so these are your region file so region we defined as any geographic area with similar characteristics right if you click on open attribute table you will have the information displayed similarly you can change the symbology over here you can change the color you can change the width so these are your regions okay once you have viewed the regions the next thing is to view the roots right so in nhd folder we have roots file just go to add data and here you have root.ran root.lm just press the uh, control key and uh, select the third file and click add now here you can see that we have the root files right just uh, open the attribute table of any root so you can see that it has various attributes defined over here and similarly of this one you can see that it has some ids some codes so you can add other roots as uh, other information as well which we will learn that in attribute table you can edit information you can calculate the length etc so this is the basic of roots okay our next task now is uh, to view the tin okay let's come back to the theory section we said that tin is basically triangulated irregular network right so let's view them uh, in arc map and see what actually it looks like just go to the add data section connect to your folder and there will be a file named as me.tin in this geodatabase uh, here it is me.tin at the main folder me.tin just ignore the projection error for the timing and here you can see you have a tin so you can see that there are many triangles basically uh, how this tin is formed here you will have some node here you will have some node and here you will have some node now this uh, these nodes they are joined through a line and a tin is formed which shows you the direction as well you can go to the properties section you can change the symbology you can change the classes or whatsoever you want if you want to change it to five click apply okay now the display will be changed so this is the basic of tin in the next or coming lab we will see that how to generate this tin from uh, some data right okay, one last thing that uh, in order to create some uh, geo database or some feature class we can just go to the folder and in our folder just create some database for example 
I have this one new uh, NHT Geo database. Inside this, just point to new. Then you can create feature class. You can create feature data sets, and other options are available, right? So similarly, you uh, have learned how to import the files, and similarly, you can export the files. So uh, you must be familiar with this uh, creating a database. In Arc Map, if you have just go to this window, catalog window, and in this folder, just point to new. Here you can create a geo database, personal or file geo database. You can create a shape file, and uh, you can have different other options as well. For example, if I want to create a file geo database, here I have created a file geo database. In this geo database, I can create feature class and feature data set. Then I can import or export my data. So these are some basics of coverage, ten routes, and feature data set, feature class, and how to create some database. so uh, get yourself uh, familiar with these uh, try to create some databases and try to import some feature class and then we will be proceeding on thank you